All righty, 518, as you get going this morning, you're kind of wondering what is in store for the day. Do I need to head to the grocery store early? You know, are all my activities going to get rained out? Let's plan it out, yeah. Jennifer. What's going on? Okay, so we're still under some really unstable air mass, really. And so severe threat exists again today, but it's going to happen later this evening through tonight. I want to go over some storm reports from yesterday. I had a massive amount of storm reports come in from Melbourne. And then as those storms uh, developed uh, further to the south, we started getting in some wind and hail reports. Of course, we know where we saw the hail, especially, uh, you know, in Jupiter, a lot of hail there. But we're starting off in Vero Beach. Now, these storm reports are taken from the Storm Prediction Center. Um, so basically what we're doing here is uh, getting these reports. And I'm trying to see if that looks like that's not working. But anyway, in Vero Beach, uh, there's a wind gust report that came out of there and then down into Fort Pierce, also damage of uh, fallen trees, which uh, we've talked about earlier already. Uh, there was a wind gust of 79 miles per hour in Fort Pierce. Also wind gust reports uh, pushing down south in Stewart. And then here's the hail. A lot of reports coming out uh, that were shown on social media. And so Storm Prediction Center finds those and they put those in the reports. And then they'll go back and officialize the reports to see were these caused by different storms or the same storm. Uh, so uh, there was a lot of hail reports and a lot of wind reports as well. Are we going to see a similar thing happen today? Not quite. It's going to be less widespread. The coverage is a little lower, but still we do have the severe threat. Now there's no rain on the radar for us this morning. We're not expecting rain throughout the early half of the afternoon, but a big system moving across the south is causing some severe weather early this morning across Texas and Louisiana. Out ahead of that, we have this little piece of energy right here in the Gulf waters. That's what's going to fire up these thunderstorms later in the afternoon for us and then could see some thunderstorms overnight and tomorrow keeping that rain chance high through the weekend as well. But a front comes in early Monday. It's going to clear all this out, dry us back out and get more sunshine for early next week.